Welcome to Poland Daily History. I am here in the studio with Stefan Thompson, an Anglo-Polish filmmaker. Stefan, welcome back. Hello, Nicholas. Hi. Um, we've, we've, we've talked about some cheerful things and some less cheerful things, but something which, of course, is still very much in, it, partly in the collective memory is this, this whole issue of sort of oppression under the Stalinist era. Yeah. And, and the, the one, one particular judge, of, uh, Stefan Mischnik, who is who's currently in, in Sweden, and, and, and then there have been various attempts to... One to, of, yeah. To, to, ..to get him back. And, and you, you've, you've also looked at this, I think, in, in part of your, your film work. I did. It, it was an issue that I, I spoke about, and the... Michnik is... I don't... I wasn't... The video I made was specifically about Michnik and about Sweden's refusal to extradite him. But the film wasn't actually just about him. That wasn't really the... The, the purpose of the video was... is. I think one of the great injustices of the 20th century is the fact that Nazism was recognized for what it, what it was, for a, a totalitarian ideology that leads to one thing. It, it leads to, to death camps, it leads to concentration camps, it, it leads to mass death, terror, uh, and, and all-round misery. And, and no one in their right mind denies this. No, I, I mean, you will, you, will, you will struggle to find a, a, a Nazi today. I mean, almost impossible. Whereas communism, the, the, the other great totalitarianism of the, of the 20th century, one that has caused misery for an entire century, and not just in Soviet Russia, but the, the whole Eastern Bloc, uh, Cuba, uh, various African countries from, for stretching from Angola to, 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 northern, to northern countries such as Algeria, where also attempts at a soft form of Marxism were introduced, all the way to, to Thailand, Laos, um, Cambodia, not Thailand, uh, I meant Vietnam, sorry. Uh, the, there we are, various forms of communist totalitarianism being introduced, all with the same miserable result. Exactly. Which is, which is hunger, death, gulags, various embodiments of concentration camps, work camps, mass internment, torture. And, and that is a great injustice, I believe to hundreds of millions of people who have been subjected to this ideology, who have been experimented upon and who have suffered um, in the name of a, of a minor elite's attempts to introduce a, a utopian vision of the world that, that has never yeah, ever succeeded in isn't there, And of course in the West, the communists are always sort of given the benefit of the doubt. Yes, um, that's precisely. A, I mean, if, only yeah. we'd had, if only we'd had more communism, the world would be a happier place, if only. Um, and it's not in a way that nobody, any, uh, you know, the, the, this I'm not saying it should be because they, they were both, as you've pointed out, evil systems. But anybody who sort of slightly stands up for anything is immediately branded a fascist and therefore mm -hmm. has, loses all right to speak. But anybody who may be equally guilty on the, on the left-wing side of this spectrum, of yeah. course, is somehow, oh, well, they've got to be tolerated because they mean well. Uh, yeah. a, a, extraordinary. But of course, and, and your film, of course, dealing with the, the particular, this particular aspect and, the, and this sort of running saw that this man is still at large. The, the point I was making was, was, that, was that all sorts of Nazi war criminals have been extradited, have been hunted, rightfully so, rightfully so. And, and yet here we have several, there's, there's a, a very decreasing number of Polish Stalinist judges who haven't, who haven't faced justice for various crimes committed. Stefan Michnik stands accused of, of, of war crimes. No, no, sta no, no statute of limitations on those. Uh, those don't run out. And I mean, directly involved in the murder of about 21 people. I mean, the summary execution of soldiers of the, the anti-communist uprising that lasted between 1944 and 1956, according to some people up until 63 when the last of the, the so-called cursed soldiers was, was murdered. Um, and, and this is, this is a, it's, it's, a, it's a terrible crime. And, I, I, and in Poland, and not just Poland, the whole Eastern Bloc, with the exception perhaps of Romania, where we had these, these velvet revolutions with, and, and that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying that is a bad thing, that the transition of power was, was peaceful. But there was no, no one faced responsibility for the misery that was enforced on, on Eastern Europe for 50 years, apart from Ceausescu, who, who was somewhere else, I mean, uh, I mean, he was b murdered in a, in a very brutal way and in fact probably should have stood trial and it should have been done in, in, the, in the correct way. 
but but apart from Ceausescu, no one's been has been jailed or I mean people have obviously been been tried, but very few people have actually faced responsibility for their crimes and for their involvement in this totalitarian ideology. And that 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 is my interest in that is is I looking at the world today. From my experiences at a British university recently, where the Marxist society was was tolerated, and and the LSE, when I was in UCL at the time, there was a, a very interesting court case where a Ukrainian student took LSE to court for flying a communist flag off one of their buildings. The Marxist society was allowed to fly a communist flag, and it took a Ukrainian girl fighting this and, and saying, actually saying, you know, this this is the flag of a of an ideology that that has oppressed my country for for about about eighty years, and. Um, and if you, and and if you carry to your logical conclusion, if you know if these people were in charge, you wouldn't be able to fly the flags you wanted. I no. mean, this is a great irony, which is which is missed, of course, by the mm. left that they don't seem to realise that uh, you know the this freedom which they have to do what they do, of course, would be completely lacking if the system which they pretend to advocate absolutely actually ever ever came to pass. Yeah, yeah. One of the one of the, the great ironies of the. So that's definitely one of one of the things that I think is incredibly incredibly important for for people from Central and Eastern Europe, people who have lived under this ideology, is to warn people, especially in the West, where, where various people masked in, in various guises and, and various disguises are are trying to force through, impose, or, or get elected, or, or implement various policies which will inevitably fail and which will lead to hunger, misery, death, destruction, and, and chaos. And I think, I think that Eastern, Central and Eastern Europe, having gone through those experiences firsthand, knowing what, what hides behind those good intentions, and I think that's saying that the, 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 the adage that you know, the, the road to hell is paved with good intentions mm -hmm. is incredibly accurate because indeed many of these Western Marxists and, and Western radicals, leftist radicals, are in fact well-intentioned. And I, I'm not. I'm not. You know, I don't question their good intentions. I merely, I, I question the end result of <laughs> yes, their good well, intentions. Yes, exactly. Um, and, and that I think is is something that we really ought, in a in a sense, the fact that Central Eastern Europe, especially in, and in this case Poland, in my case Poland, has suffered under this totalitarian regime. It 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 makes us responsible. And I believe I believe this very deeply that this is a responsibility of people who have suffered under this regime, to. To stand up and warn others that that is, the, if there is anything positive that we can take out of this experience, it is that we can now warn others. Because there, I don't believe there is anything positive that has come out of communism. That is the only thing that we have, in a sense, from that time period, is that we can warn others behind this great tragedy, and this to, great not, danger. Not to make the same mistake. Exactly. In the future. That's Precisely. a good note on which to end this section. Thank you, Steph. Thank you, Nicholas.